<laughs> Welcome to the Limited Series 2009 October Tasting. Got two gorgeous red wines today that I'm going to share with my host and co-host Ed Masiana. Thank you. Again. And uh, great to be here and October's coming up. That means the Christmas holidays are right around the corner and what a rush that's going to be around here because we have some great items for you. Uh, that we're bringing to you via our new catalog, which is landing here today, and you'll be seeing it in October shipment. In the meantime, we're going to taste some Cote de Rome. Cote de Rome. Uh, you know, when, when Dad brought me in to start teaching me about this business in 1988, uh -huh. we went to the 89 McMinnville Pinot Noir Festival. Ah, yeah, in so, Oregon. In Oregon. Yeah. And so my introduction to the Pinot Noir was not at the Pinot Noir, I mean, to Cote d'Iron was not at the Pinot Noir Festival. It was because my dad spilled the Pinot Noir over some guy's shirt <laughs> and he sent him a bottle of Cote d'Iron to say, I'm sorry. Okay. And this was uh, you know, a long time ago. And this, this Cote d'Iron, um, I taste this. And we don't get a lot of them in here. And when we get them, they're overpriced and they're a little too old world. And this one just jumped out of the glass, starting with the color. Mm -hmm. Just well, first of all, this was 2007, and you know, another vintage of the century, but I've had a lot of 2007 mm -hmm. Cote de Rhone's, and they mm -hmm. are absolutely incredible. I mean, they're huge, monstrous wines. I mean, I remember 10 years ago when the dollar was a little stronger, you could put a, uh, a Chateau of du Pop uh, in, the, in the limited series. Mm -hmm. But I would defy you to taste this against Chateau of du Pop and not think of Chateau of du Pop. That's so it's just complex. big, rich, lots of flavor. And, you know, absolutely, in today's world, a great price. Uh, he's right. Cote d'Iron, you know, maybe 15 years ago was a classic series wine. Uh, this particular vintage and this particular brand blew me away. Uh, worth every penny of the $17.99 that you paid for for the first bottle. Uh, retail shelf price is $23.99. But the color and the finish... Yeah, finish it just goes on and on and on. There's lots big, of vanilla and oak and things in there, and the, but the middle's got berries and spice and. Well, this is a very, very old and very respected property in the Cote de Rome, run by the Desiree family. A uh, D.A. Desiree, who who's who owns the the property, it's it's been in his family for hundreds of years. He was the first guy to drive a car in their town. Oh, really? Yeah, wow, I mean, that's a he's a story. guy's a really interesting character. I mean, I'm sure from what I've read, I uh, unfortunately have never met him, but I'd love to. And the wines are just pinch, pitch perfect. I mean, yeah. they're just pinpoint perfect and uh, spectacular. Now they took his license away, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what he did with it, so. Um, mm. This is delicious. I can just smell this wine. For yeah, I know, it really is. It's got, it's got almost a perfumeness to it, but it's also really rich and big in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Great wine for, you know, something charred. Mm -hmm. On a barbecue or something. And it will develop because it's still sort of new worldish. Mm -hmm. I think it'll continue to grow and open up. Um, I gave it 90. It's probably. It's a 94. It's better it's than 94. Yeah. I mean, the fact is, you compare this to other Cote de Rhone's. This is one of the best Cote de Rhone's I've ever tasted. I'd even, I'd even go a 95 or 96 because oh. I, I don't think I've had Cote de Rhone as good, to tell you the truth, with very few exceptions. It was hard to contain my excitement that <laughs> I found a Cote de Rhone when the guy brought it in. Yeah. I wanted to keep the price down so we could just feature it. And if I showed them too much excitement, maybe he would raise the price on me. They tend to try to do you that. You don't really do that, do you? No, I don't. No, I, <laughs> I work with my margins, and that's it. So you guys get the best value you can find. I'm not. I'm more interested in selling you a great bottle of wine than making sure my margins are Talk top. about color. Holy Here's an unbelievable uh, Cabernet from uh, William Hill, and it's a great package. Uh, got this neat sort of almost natural looking uh, grape leaf on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks great. I, I want to make uh, Armenian sarma out of it, you know, when you roll the... Yeah, the, yeah put lamb, lamb, plant lamb and rice in there. All Napa Valley juice, big giant bottle of Cabernet. It's what it's all about, you know, yeah. they, they, they love to uh, tell you how terrific Napa Valley is, and I, and I like to shoot them up a little bit, but every now and then you taste a wine like this and you say, oh yeah, you know, that's really what it's all about, you know, it's big, juicy, uh, an incredible vintage, 2005. Too. I'm surprised that you could you could still get the 05. I mean, that's, well, you that's get the amazing. camphor, you get the eucalyptus, you get the spice, you mm -hmm. get the cassis, you get all the classic character that a Cabernet from Napa is supposed to bring with it, and uh, at not the price. Because What's a thirty dollars? You know, at thirty dollars, really, in today's world, Napa Valley Cabernet of this quality, thirty bucks is really cheap. I mean, you got guys that are getting, you know, over a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. I've had some just recently that were 75, 80 bucks, weren't even close to this, mm -hmm. but. Because you're a member of the Wine of the Month Club, the price is... It was $21.99 for the first one, but more for $16.99. Mm. Okay, so you get more of this wine uh, that, uh, boy, I wish... I don't know if I can get any more, actually. It's probably pretty much the end of that uh, this brand for that vintage, but... Uh, 
It's really good. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you like Cab and you want Napa Valley, you want somebody to say, what does Napa Valley Cab taste like? Yeah, this is it. This is, it. <laughs> this, this is Napa Valley Cabernet. Well, you barely see through it when you put okay. it through the light. Okay, and um, 93, 94, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And you... Uh, I didn't even spit that one out. I'm drinking it. <laughs> He's still stuck on the 90 Ew. points, guys. But I promise you by next month, I'm going to get him up to a 92 or 93. Right. I've already tasted the wines, and a couple of them are in that league. Can I show you something while we're here? Please. Look at this thing. Barrel of wine. Barrel of wine. Barrel of wine, which is part of the gift basket this year. Our biggest seller last year, so we brought it back. You can substitute these four bottles. These are all classic series wines. If you want to put some William Hill in there or some Cote Drone, we can do it. Uh, same with uh, the Vintner series wine. But what's more fun than a barrel of wine? Ah, I couldn't um, think of anything. Two, barrel. two barrels. Yeah, <laughs> two barrels. Of wine. Right. So that's the end. See you at the Vintner series. Well,